Welcome to my platform. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your location. And if you like what I do here, please, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notifications so that you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. In this platform, we react to all forms of video, what we do before putting the video, analyze it, and we sit down there to watch it together with you. Then later, we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion, but let us always do it constructively in the comment section. One thing that attracted me to you was one of the videos you made and you were talking about when men fail, women will rise up. I cannot forget it. So I, I really want, let's start with that. You say when men fail, women will rise. Why did, why did you say that at this point in this movement? Please. Well, it is in line with uh, not just only what Mazi said, but it happened in the Bible some time ago. I think in the book of Judges, chapter 5, when uh, Deborah, a uh, prophetess in Israel, fought against Jabin. And uh, is it Caesar or something? was a king and she killed him which men couldn't do, and she made a uh, prophetic utterance in the in the book of Judges, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not just Masi saying it, but what he said was true. It was a prophetic uh, declaration, and I saw it, and I saw sense in it. So when men fail, definitely, women should not just sit down and watch things deteriorate. That's number one. And number two, in a family where men misbehave, Women could rise up to defend the family's name, maybe by their work, work or dint of hard work, or maybe their education or their, you know, defense of the family name based on their activities. So men can fail. You hear me? The Deborah sang a song in Judges chapter five when uh, she killed somebody that was a problem to Israel. So when I looked at the way our men were doing and uh, in respect to what Mazin Namdekano said, first of all, I want it to be clear. I don't hate anybody. I don't want anybody to be brought down. But let's look at things objectively. It has nothing to do with what I think or how I feel. Is the issue on the table. Do we want our freedom? Do we want our country? Do we want to move on? They'll have to set personal things aside and focus on the thing that collectively uh, benefit us as a people. And that's how always been the mindset of Nam Kano. So when he said that with the moment women take over, the things will change. I saw that uh, uh, failure and then women started coming up in keeping with that prophecy. And uh, he did not just say it based on the fact that he was just talking. I'm sure he was speaking based on either what he foresaw or what he was told and it was uttering it prophetically, and it was coming to pass. So I had to support them. You can come in families where men are misbehaving, and one girl comes up, or the women come up, they begin to work very hard, do this and that. They are the ones that come back to take care of the parents, rehabilitate the family, rejuvenate, rejuvenate everybody. So always give, also give women a chance. In America here, women are doing lots of great things, so it shouldn't be different with the, us Africans or the Africans. Oh, thank you very much, Mansi. So I, I want to ask you now a direct question to you now. So do you feel at this moment that uh, the men are no longer <laughs> doing what is expected of them? Do you think that the men have failed us in this movement right from when it happens? So, sorry, let me give you instances. Right from the period of uh, Iruanya, them, uh, Ucheme for them, uh, Rav Wasurike, them, all of them that emerge and all of that up to this point, even uh, different place, different people, which we know most, uh, they were mainly men that be, that somehow something happens, they will call sabotage or they betray the struggle. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So, do you think that men have actually failed in this movement? And do you think that there are still men that can still stand up, even while the women rise up? Do you think that the men have failed finally, or is there any hope? Please. I like the second question. Do you think that there are men that can still rise up as the women are moving on? I like that question. That's a very good one. And I'm standing on that. Do you understand me? As for the first question, yes. Look, let me tell you. 
when Jesus was crucified on the cross. In fact, before he was crucified, before they arrested him, all his disciples left him and fled. They were all men. It was the same men, one of them that betrayed him. It's normal. And then, when he was buried, we also understand that men buried him. But on the day of resurrection, it was a woman that stood and, and was there until she had one-on-one -on -one conversation with the, with the master, which the men couldn't wait patiently. They left. So she played a very vital role. It's on record. You can't take that away from women. Now, as per our men in Biafra, not all of them have messed up. We're talking about those in authority in DOS whom we looked up to. Because Namde Kano, look, I don't like when people make some comments. I hear that, why did he appoint them since he knows that there were no materials? That was what he had available to work with. You weren't there then. I wasn't there. And they held fought. In the process, there were problems. This one will betray, this one will fall, stuff like this. Now, as time progressed, people started coming in because they were failing, given the circumstance in which we found ourselves. So, it is not all the men in Biafra. Because if you say that you are part of those that have failed, you shouldn't be holding this program. You should be crucified. But you are not part of them that failed. You just came in along the line. And the thing is burning in your heart. You want to see the right things done. So, those that are in the authority of Biafra, even among themselves, that were leaders of the U.S., that seem to be having misunderstanding among themselves. For example, let me look at uh, Charles Rabbi, the prophet, right? He speaks against them, but he was. He is part of the D.O.S. So he understands that there's a, a gap in leadership. But that doesn't mean that all the men in Biafra have missed it or men cannot rise up again. Because right now, you are doing something that is talking about men playing their own roles. And there are other men who are doing things on the ground, which we don't know. Good. So while women are on it working, we should also be available because if we just allow everything in the hands of women, it might go a wrong direction. That's the simple truth. I love Umwada Biafra, women. But, you know, God has ordained it that women should be under men, not as lords. But, you know, it is just an ordination to show that a man takes the first, the first part as respect. But he still accommodates the woman who might give him a better idea that will help both of them move forward. I understand that. But if you don't hold things very well, they might go out of line. Because women sometimes could be emotional. They might go out of line. And if they go out of line, or even if they don't go and succeed, it might create a wrong impression in the future. That men no longer have balls, they no longer have brains, they are no longer reliable. So subsequent generations will not even recognize what men are saying. After women started it. And the women that may come later may not be as uh, discreet as the women are now. Might be girls that will come later and they want to superimpose feminine dominion over men and spoil everything about a tradition way of life. You understand what I'm saying? Uh huh. So our men are there. Still have good men. Wow. Thank you very much, Mazi. I always like to listen to your ideology. That's why I am I'm speaking to you as a pastor because I know your your <laughs> your 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 ideas is going to be mixed with some kind of um, principle, you know, uh, which is very good. And that is why I want to listen to you. Um, so I want, I want, to, I want us to, to talk about the situation that we are currently in IPOP. Uh, I, I don't know what you think about the kidnap of our leader, Mazin Amdekano, with the fact that the DOS, they were not aware of, according to them, that they were not aware after eight days of the kidnap of our leader, Mazin Amdekano. And up to now, it's been six months, nothing has been done. <laughs> per se, like that, we can see. Even as we know that the lawyers are doing what 
is they can but these lawyers were not uh, employed by the dos these are lawyers that have been always been there fighting for our freedom for our leader and for people that have always been kidnapped and arrested molested by the wicked government of nigeria so let, let's just start from there i'm starting it so that i can give you enough time to make a very good you know uh so speech and expression to make everybody understand what do you have to say about this development that our leader was kidnapped in the capable hands of people surrounding him and working for him and up to today it's been six months the leadership have is like they have lost control we have not heard from them and nothing has been done bringing more confusion in our midst please go ahead oh you know this issue has been discussed over and over again and almost Everybody, even those who are not Biafrans, are aware that uh, Nandi Kanu's abduction or kidnap or rendition did not follow the due process of extradition or diplomatic protocols. You know, everybody knows that. So, but the main question now is in respect to the DOS as per his disappearance. Now, my worry now is. I, I, I wouldn't like to say anything that would pop more sentiments against the DOS. Yeah, because it's already established. Look, bro, it's already established in the whole world to understand that uh, there were flaws and uh, there were actions that lent credence to uh, accusations of conspiracy and uh, sell out which have not been refuted by them in any way you know what i mean so it's um actually the truth is they didn't do well in handling this matter and um much as i don't advocate for their crucifixion i also insist that if you made a mistake acknowledge it and be sorry to apologize to your people turn from it and let's move forward as a family for nobody is perfect even men that were appointed by god directly misbehaved along the line a person like solomon god appeared to him twice do you know at the end of the day for all the two times appearance that god did was solomon and gave him wisdom and knowledge and riches he ended up worshiping idols and at the end of his life he died an unbeliever biblically speaking it's here in the scriptures so there's no guarantee that because god the only man whom god appointed came to this world and lived that life that was sinless and perfect was jesus christ every other man is subject to flaws the Bible says Elijah was a man of like passions, just like we are. And you know that Elijah at the time uh, interceded against Israel. And that prompted God to tell him, okay, uh, your ministry is about coming to an end. Because you don't intercede against my people. That's what that's what he was saying. See, I've left 7,000 that have not bowed the knee to bow. And he told him, go and anoint Elisha, the son, son of Shaphat, to be prophet in your stead. Anoint Hazel to be the king of Syria. And has it anoint Jehu, the son of Nimshi, to be the king of Israel? So if anybody escapes Elisha, Jehu will kill that person. If anybody escapes Jehu, Hazel will kill that person. So Elijah was taken away. You, you understand what I'm saying? So they made mistakes, terrible mistakes. And you know, it's human nature, especially men, not to acknowledge. If, if you see a man that's able to acknowledge his mistake, that one thing God loves about certain men in the Bible, or all the men in the Bible was, if somebody acknowledges his mistakes and confesses to God, he repents, God forgives him. Like Ahab, he was a very wicked king, and God had planned to destroy Israel and him. But as soon as that prophecy was given, Ahab went back home, walking quietly, humbled himself before God. That same God told Elijah, have you seen the way Ahab has humbled himself before me? Therefore, these things shall not come in his generation in his reign sorry so if only they can acknowledge where they made mistakes they, they have really made mistakes they have, in fact um that, that brings me to dr nelly she was the one that started talking 
And before she started talking, there are evidences based on the information I got from her that she sent letters to Edozium and Co. Look at what is going on. What do we do to fix it? And they weren't listening. Do you understand me? That's one. Then number two, in respect to Marzi's rendition, that's why I don't want to I don't want to raise up anything now. I don't want to bring comments that will raise up sentiment. We all know that they, they, they missed it there 100%. Because if you begin to ask certain, certain questions now, it will end up trying to ridicule their person, their ability, and their capacity. So I just want to give you a blanket coverage that we all make mistakes. They have, they have made mistakes. If they can repent from their mistakes, ask the behavior of forgiveness, and then move on. But as per what brought about agitations to this level, Dr. Nelly made it plain. And if they had listened to her, maybe what the way the thing had deteriorated, it would have been effectively managed. And number two, we use this now to learn in case of Biafra tomorrow. A very good ministry of publicity, that is a communication, a pub, uh, that is a sorry, an effective uh, um, uh, this thing, public relations department it's very very important for a movement like this because when something happens and people are not properly educated or sensitized they might have wrong opinions and when you are coming down to talk and you start abusing people you spoil the whole thing so that was where they had a problem they didn't have a, a very good effective public relations outfit to effectively handle this this problem when it was uh, when it started i made mention of that from the beginning thank you hello 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 yes i can hear you thank you very much for that explanation um but but um uh, i know that you're a pastor uh, you will not want to bring more sentiment uh but but, I, but the truth is that they missed it. They did a lot of wrong. Yeah. So you said that is a mistake. And that is where the next question goes. That the DOS made a mistake. That are you still saying that is a mistake for the past six months? If it was a mistake, they have not come out to correct it. And for the past six months, there is a lot of problem, which I don't know, you, you witness it, that even many people are still confused. So I, from my, as an engineer, <laughs> I, I don't think this is a mistake. It's, it, it, from all indication, it's in the, it, it, there's every indication that is it's an intentional and they are not able to come and do anything up to now, up to now, six months, up to now. now I, I, say something, please. Now, now, look at why I've said initially that it's a mistake. Namdi Kano appointed them. And they must have looked into each and every one of them and given them that thing. So, uh, so far, they are still handling that office. Nobody has the right to remove them from the US. But loyalty could be shifted from them to somewhere else. So, I don't want a situation where somebody comes up. That's why I said even the people that God appointed could make mistakes. I don't want somebody, somebody to come and start ridiculing them, the kind of sense of judgment by pointing certain people in certain places. That's why I said in the beginning, at the onset, it was a mistake. I don't want to go into all those conspiracy theories because it is a fact. Listen, my dear brother, I have made broadcast on Facebook when uh, Dr. Nelly had made comments that implicated Caroline. Uh, is it Anya or what they call Nene Anya, Caroline Okura for uh, Kanun Takano? She made comments that implicated them. As a matter of fact, um, what's his name? Yah, Yahweh, what's that prophet? The one that is married to Nandikano's sister. Master prophet, master, master prophet. prophet. Yeah, he called me on phone some time ago after I made a broadcast. And he said, how am I sure that what uh, Nelly said in respect to his family members feeding from the uh, Biafran fund and not only that, no, and not that the money should rather be limited to Mazin Namdekano, his wife and his children. Now, how am I sure that the money, that they themselves partook of the money? I said, when Nelly of Fable made this allegation, none of you came out to denounce it and say, no, it's wrong or right. When she made the allegation against Kanon Takano, none of you came out to say, Kanon Ta 
didn't do it or did it and if he did it none of you came out to tell him that what you did was wrong like the anambra people spoke against joe Bokwe in lagos the joe Bokwe that lives in lagos none of you came out to refute any allegation you just kept quiet so that lent credence to whatever um dr nelly was saying and nelly was also coming out with facts then as time was progressing the character being shown by those in the dos the hod and others was beginning to prove that dr nelly was right after all and then certain people who he did to were trying to defend us began to have their eyes open that they are part of the conspiracy are you following me it was very very clear there's no doubt about it but like i told you i don't want i'm not saying that it's a mistake like somebody uh, did something unknowingly that if you are known would have corrected it if i make a deliberate statement of a conspiracy to sell nam the kano i don't want to fuel any kind of hatred among us Biafras, or sentiments against them you know so what i'm saying is because as a man of god i'm for peace they made a mistake when nam the kano comes out by the grace of god biafra comes we shall go back into this thing and find out what role did a and b or c play and then it shall be brought out in the open watching this video together with me like i said before if it is your first time of coming across my youtube channel and you like what i do please subscribe put on your notification bell share this video leave your comment in the comment section you are free to criticize but let us do it always constructively remain blessed i appreciate your massive support and i love and cherish each and every one of you until i meet you again in my next video for now i will say bye bye